Hotter temps expected for tomorrow. Local school districts are taking action to ensure the safety of students and staff. News Channel 3's Tiana Barnes is live in Kalamazoo tonight. She spoke with the Plainwell School's athletic director about how this heat affects sports, events, and practices. Tiana? Jessica, officials have been keeping an eye on the heat index since about 1 p.m. today. I spoke with MHSAA about the regulations set in place for when we see some of that hot weather coming our way. When temperatures rise, Plainwell High School's athletic director, Melissa Preston, has her work cut out for her. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, we're already kind of in the high 80s, high 80s uh, right now, and it's only 1 o'clock in the afternoon. She spent the early afternoon preparing for the JV and varsity soccer games. Uh, game time is going to be around 5.30 or 6 o'clock. The game's now canceled. The athletic directors from the two schools agreeing for the safety of their athletes. Already we know that we're going to be stopping um, during our soccer game in the middle of each half and having a mandatory 10-minute water break. Monitoring the heat index in 30-minute intervals, Preston ensures any outdoor activity is handled per MHSAA rules. Way more water than usual. <laughs> but then we'll also have cold towels. Um, we're looking at doing some pop-up canopies over the, the benches here for our soccer game tonight. MHSAA communications director says most athletic directors follow a similar protocol. We send this out to our schools. We have this all over our website. It's accompanied by a chart where they can take the, the temperature and the humidity and find what their heat index should be and uh, follow it that way. And it just gives somebody a really good baseline uh, and, and a good guideline to to keep kids safe out there. He tells me the heat index of 99 I saw measured at Plainwell's football field has its own range of safety suggestions. So we're really talking about kind of amping things up in terms of uh, hydration, uh, still you know, making those breaks optional, but really hoping that, that people are taking breaks every 30 minutes or so. These guidelines extend to all practices. Preston tells me Plainwell's football team practices will look different too. Oh, they're only going to probably be in shoulder pads and shorts today and helmets. They won't be able to wear their full garb, so they'll have to obviously accommodate their practice for, for safety as far as that's concerned. But we uh, have all those systems in place to make sure that kids are staying at the temperature they need to be at. I'm told that in the hours following my visit, the heat index over at Plainwell High fluctuated between 101 and 106 degrees. Now that's two degrees over the cutoff where MHSAA requires all schools to cancel any outdoor activities or events.